Hey everybody, how are you today? Um, look, I'm on day 15 of my of the Gary B challenge. Um, there's a few things that I wanted to share with everybody who's looking who's looking to start this challenge. Now, I started this in December 1st. It was around the time when Gary V released his 270-page uh, uh, guide on how to post 64 pieces of content. Now, 64, um, 64 pieces of content is, is 64 plus is actually key for any successful business. But for me, because I'm starting from zero, um, I've been slowly trying to get up to that number. Now, there's a few things that I wanted to share about this challenge. I wanted to share my opinion. I wanted to share, I, you know, some things for people looking to start this challenge. Um, I know the New Year is, of course, coming soon. So maybe people are looking to start this challenge. Maybe some of you don't know what to do. Maybe some of you don't know what to post. Um, I was kind of in that boat, but um, one of the things that I've noticed was that the more that I post, the more things that I did, the more that I kind of got an idea of what to, to post. Now, I'm only on day 15, so of course, uh, I still have long ways to go. One of the key things to remember about this challenge or any challenge in life or any big change in your life is that this is not a competition. This is not a race. This is a marathon and this is for the future. This is something that it's going to help you in the future. This is like a plant that's slowly growing and it'll eventually blossom into something beautiful. But you have to do this every day and you got to have the right mindset to do this. So what am I talking about? So one of the things that I that I think is very important for something like this is you have to be patient, very, very important, because follower you have to be um, followers are going to come and people are going to come eventually. But if you're trying to do this so you can get fast followers, it's probably not going to work or it might work it might work there's no you know there's no rules here but i want you to know that it's important to have patience it's very very important to have patience now i have a notebook that i've been using this is just something that i bought in the in a convenience store here in 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 japan and i use this to tally my 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 social media so every day i've been tallying up my results and i've been trying to get to of course higher numbers of content at the beginning it's going to be maybe a little bit um difficult if you don't have a system the more you do something the more you get better at it so that's one of the things that may happen is that at the beginning, if you've never posted content, if you never edited video or you never edited a photo before, that could happen that, you know, you might feel like it's taking too much time, but that's okay because the goal is just to post. The goal is to post. It's not how many pieces of content is. If you're posting every day, then that's better than not doing anything at all. So my numbers have gotten um, big. I've been... Of course, uh, it depends a lot on your time. Um, I, I mean, I don't want to. How do I say? There's like no excuses at all. I don't. I don't like excuses at all. Uh, but I understand that people have different situations. So that's one of the things to keep in mind is to maximize your time. So sometimes people want to post like like quality content, and I understand that. But sometimes you might not have the time to make super quality content so a single tweet is better than not posting anything at all so that's something else to keep in mind now uh, in Gary V's uh, 270 page uh, deck there's so much information about how to post um, for example uh, there's tweet there's tweets there's um, there's drawings there's cartoons there's video there's podcasts 
Um, there's so many ways to post and distribute your content, which is one of the things that he, he, he talks about. Um, now for me, I've been using all platforms. So I've been using Twitter, um, Instagram, Instagram stories, Instagram, IGTV, Facebook, TikTok, um, Snapchat, LinkedIn, uh, what is, what is this? TikTok and slides. I think I said TikTok twice. Oh, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, I've been using YouTube. And um, look, every day is fun as fuck, to be honest with you. Every day is something new. Every day is something exciting because you can take this anywhere. Like, that's so incredible. You can actually take this whatever you want. If you want to talk about sneakers, if you want to talk about... Uh, if you want to talk about cats, if you want to talk about books, if you want to talk about video games, if you want to talk about whatever the hell you want, you can do anything. Now, like I said, it is it is so important to have patience because this stuff takes time. It takes time to build an audience. It takes time to build trust. Are there faster ways to do it? Maybe yes. The more you engage with people, the more you post every day, maybe it'll become faster. Now, at the beginning, um, it's going to take time if you haven't done it before, but it's very, it's very much possible. Now, my goal is to get to 50 pieces of content every day. Uh, on some days, I've gotten to 40. On some days, I've only done 17. On other days, I've done 26. So it depends a lot on my time. Of course, um, I'm working a full-time job. I'm also um, I, I'm also going to be uh, I'm busy here in life my in my life too. But I try to do my best to maximize my time. So, for example, on my way to work, I am I, I have to take the train, and the train takes me like one hour and a half. So for me, that one hour and a half, it's like crucial for me to post content. So every day I'm making a video, every day I am tweeting, every day I am putting it on Instagram, on Snapchat, on everything. Uh, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on everything at Jace Johnny SKC. One more time at Johnny SKC, follow me on my YouTube, whatever. But, but yeah, every day on my way to work, uh, it's so important for me to post content. Now, after work, I also come home, spend some time with my family, but after I continue posting content and producing, because this is now going to become my life. I chose this. That's very important for you to pick this and not to do it because it's cool. I chose this because I wanted to... I chose this because to me it's it's fun it's 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 every day is a brand new day everything I can take this wherever I want and I don't want to ever be scared of saying something that I don't like that I don't that I know that I should say so for all of you who are looking to start this challenge I encourage you to prepare yourself mentally this is a marathon not a sprint, you gotta have a lot of patience and it has to be your choice. And post anything, post anything that you want, even if it's just a drawing. Like I've turned my drawings into ASMR videos. Um, I also been filming here in, in Japan, posting that. Like content doesn't have to be so complicated. You just need to be posting it every day so that you're on people's minds all the time. This is how you win this game. You have to be like a fly that's like flying around and it's like so fucking annoying, but you're, but people are thinking about you all the time. So especially if you already have a business, then it's perfect challenge for you. I highly encourage everybody to take the Gary V challenge. And remember, you only have one life, guys. You only have one life. So go get out there and be happy. Get out there and fucking do what you love. Don't be scared of what other people say and none of that bullshit. Fuck that. None of that shit matters. Take the challenge. 
have fucking shit so shitloads of fun and you will be okay this is johnny skc